guys, this is very easy learning and today we will be learning about the Pythagorean Theorem. Now the first thing you should know is this is the basic equation of the Pythagorean Theorem. It is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now with this equation comes a few rules that you must follow. First of all, this equation only works with right triangles. If you use this equation with any other triangles, you will get the wrong answer, trust me. Now you will know the triangle is a right triangle when you see this little box shape in one of the corners of the triangle, which indicates that this angle right over here is equal to 90 degrees. And you will also notice that the right angle is always going to be on the opposite side of the longest side. And the longest side is known as the hypotenuse, or C in our equation. And using the Pythagorean theorem, if we have two sides of a triangle, we will always be able to find the length of the third side. Now, A and B can be reversible. This can be B and this can be A. It really doesn't matter as long as you keep C as the longest side. Now let's move on to a practice problem. So, so far we have the equation A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And we have this question right over here. Um, so as I told you before, this can be A, this can be B, or this can be A and this can be B. And this is C because it is the hypotenuse and is on the opposite side of the right triangle. And we are trying to find C. So right now I'm going to keep 42 as A and 56 as B. And we're going to substitute these numbers into our equation right over here. So 42 squared plus 56 squared is equal to C squared. I just substituted 42 as A and 56 as B. Now, we are going to find the values of 42 squared and 56 squared. 42 squared is equal to 1,764. And 56 squared is equal to 3,136. Now, this equation requires us to add these two numbers together. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to add 1,764 plus 3,136, and that is equal to 4,900. Now remember, this is not our answer. This is simply equal to C squared. But we, what we are trying to find right now is C. And so to find C from this, we will have to do the square root of 4,900. And that will lead us to our answer, which is C. So the square root of 4,900 is equal to 70, and that in fact is C. So the answer of this question is 70, but don't forget about the units, it is 70 millimeters, and that will be your answer. Thank you for watching.